Thanks for checking in. This isn't our usual kind of video, but we thought we'd do one. If you're trying to do your first AKC dog show, AKC stands for American Kennel Club. So if you're here, you're probably wondering what a dog show is about, or you're thinking you want to enter your dog, or you got a new AKC dog. So um, let's just get to it. This is a broad overview. This is some of the things we couldn't find on the internet when we were trying to do our first dog show. And you stick all the way through to the end. We'll give you some show tips that helped us get through our first show and our first year of showing. What are the requirements to enter an AKC dog show? Obviously, it's got to be an AKC registered dog. And by AKC registered dog, they mean a purebred dog. Not a, they've got a couple other classifications. It's not agility. They've got to be able to trace the lineage back. So it's got to be a fully registered AKC dog. Usually, it will have a DN before the name. The other requirement is it's not altered, as they say in the dog show world. Altered means fixed, spayed, neutered. And you think, well, that's a bit cruel, but you have to remember why dog shows were created originally. Dog shows were created to evaluate breeding stocks. So that tradition has kind of carried forward. So there's a couple of classes. If you've got a new puppy, you've got a new AKC dog, you're probably thinking, wow, I've got an AKC dog. There's a four to six month puppy class, and that's basically just for fun. But it's not just for fun. It's also good because you get to go in front of a fully qualified AKC judge. I had great experiences. We did six four to six month puppy classes. There were professional handlers there helping us. It's a really, really good way to get into dog shows or just get, say you've done a dog show with your puppy. So highly recommend that if you've got a puppy, just go for it. Anything goes. Dogs are running around the ring. It's all fun. Then at age six months plus, we go into what's called the regular classes. So these dogs, after six months, are competing for what's called championship points. And I'll go into that a bit later. All right, quick overview. So who wins? Who is the eventual winner? The, best, the winner is called, of course, best in show. And how do you get to be best in show? It starts with the breed competition. And in the breed competition, it's broken down to male and female dogs, and it's also broken down into classes from there. So I will go into that in some detail later because it's pretty complicated. The winner of the breed competition will go on to the group competition. So if you had a golden retriever, the best golden retriever will go on to the group competition. The best Yorkshire Terrier will go on to the group competition. And then the seven groups are sporting group, hound group, working group, terrier group, toy group, and non-sporting group, and of course, herding group. So let's review how we got to best in show, how, we, how this all works, and then we're gonna work on the individual breed competition. So the winners of the breed will go on to the group competition. The seven groups will pick a best in group. So that's the best group in all those groups. The seven group winners will go on to best in show. And there's a beautiful Irish wolfhound, and that was the top dog of the best of the groups. So, so now let's get into the breed classifications. The winner is called best of breed. The breed is a bit complicated and convoluted, but this is how we get rid of a lot of dogs really fast. I know that sounds cruel. So there's a couple of classifications, six to nine months, nine to 12 months, 12 to 18 months, novice, amateur owner handler, bred by exhibitor, and American bred, and open class. So now open class is the only actual required category in the breed competition. So this is kind of for every dog that don't fit someplace else. And this is where the bulk of the dogs are in the open competition. And there's a reason that dogs want to stay in this competition. So you should pick a class that works for you. So like I said, most dogs are in the open group. And then you need to ask yourself, why are you showing? Are you showing? There's a couple of reasons you can show for championship points. And championship points is, this video isn't for that. And there's plenty of videos on that. Basically, you need 15 points to be a champion. You need two major wins. and once you have those points, then you're considered a champion. And you get to become a champion by beating a lot of dogs. So for me, what I like to do is I'm trying to get as much ring time as I can. What I'm looking for is to go in front of that AKC judge and say, hey, 
let me practice, let me try, let me do my best, look at my dog. And every little time I learn something. But if you're going for sure points, your goal is to beat a lot of dogs. So you get points based on how many dogs you beat. And there's a whole slew of videos on YouTube for that, and this is not the scope of this video here. So now you've chosen a class, six to nine months, nine to 12 months, 12 to 18 months, amateur owner handler, and then it's further broken down into by sex. And as you probably know, dogs are called, male dogs are called dogs, and female dogs are called bitches. And I know it's kind of funny in an introductory video to hear that word, but you get to a dog show and it's completely normal. So they can, again, I said they compete in class by gender. So all the dogs, all the male dogs would have all these classes and the female dogs would also have all these classes. So let's just take an example here. We've got a six to nine month dog. We've got two male dogs and they're placed first and second. Simple enough. But in nine to 12 months, there are no dogs at all, which is not uncommon. Not every class is filled every time. Thus, the reason I said, if you're just trying to get ring time in front of the judge and practice, it's a good idea to just pick an obscure group so you can keep going back and winning. Let's go to the open class. The open class had seven dogs in it today. So places are issued for first through fourth place. So these dogs, out of the seven, the first, second, third, and fourth place dog was issued an award. So again, let's do winners by sex. We'll take our male dogs, for example. And here's our sample dog show we've set up. Six to nine months, we had two dogs. There was no dogs in the nine to 12 months. 12 to 18 months, we had three dogs with three places. We had one novice dog, no amateur handler dogs. Bred by exhibitor was one and the open class. We had seven dogs and four places. All right, so now who are our winners? We have got five winner dogs, one, two, three, four, five. Some of the classes were represented. And here's what it looked like. So obviously you can see the ones in the circle are the ones that are one and going forward. Okay. So we've gone from 14 dogs to five dogs. So now we've got our male dogs and we've got five of them competing and they're on their breed and their breed and their sex. So we've got two dogs we're gonna pick. First place is called the winner dog and the second place is called reserve winner. So now we've got our top male dog. And, and then we're gonna go to our breast of breed competition. So our best of breed is our top male and top female dogs. Our top female and top male dog compete to get a best of breed. And our best of breed will represent our breed that will go forward to compete in the group competition. So a quick review. So we're classed, there's classes in individual breeds by sex or gender. So the male dogs, the dogs, and the female dogs, the bitches, will all compete in all those classes. And from that, the two best genders, the dog and the bitch, will compete for best of breed. If you're best of breed, then you go on to one of the seven groups, and one of those seven groups will actually compete for best in show. So you understand the basics. Hopefully you understand what to sign up for. You know what to go out and Google and look for and what you don't understand. So I'm just gonna give some of our tips for our first show and what scared us and how we kind of overcame it and everything. So here we go. Where can you get your number? That was like the scariest thing. We couldn't figure out where to get our number at the dog show. Your number can be picked up at the ring you're going to show in. You just go up to the ring steward and that's the person literally sitting on a chair looking over a book and she will get you your number. So good idea. Never ask her when she's busy writing stuff down. So you need to be respectful. It's kind of a given yin and yang, give and take. So if she's not busy and she's doing nothing, you can ask her for your number. But if the judge is talking to her or something, just kind of watch people. You'll see how it goes. 
You never say the dog's name when picking up your number. I know that's strange, but you don't want the judge to hear who the owner is or what the dog's name is, so it can't be influenced. It needs to be totally like the dog on the day. That's what I like to say. So never say the dog's name. You can go up and say, hey, I've got a golden retriever, 9 to 12 months, bitch. And they'll look through your thing, and they'll look through the book, and you point it, and you say, that's me, and they'll give you the number. And don't forget to get rubber bands, you know, to wrap around your arms. Of course, don't be intimidated. You're going to pull into a dog show, and it is crazy. You know, the money people are spending on dogs here is just unbelievable. You know, full-on buses and campers and everything is going on here. So don't be intimidated. Just have fun. Be yourself. For me, even now, after a year of doing this, I like to duck off in a corner and we like to do our own thing. We like to show up in the ring, say hi to our friends, and sneak out. You know, your dog is just as good as anybody else's dog. You have every right to be there. You've got an AKC dog. The people. So the people are strange. Our first dog show, we were, we were just, we were amazed, you know. And if you watch the movie Best in Show, which came out in 2000, a dog show is probably twice as bad as that. And I mean that in a positive way. But the people are intimidating at first. But you know what? They're there for a sport. They're there to compete. You know, and deep down, if you're not competing against them, they're generally nice people. You know, and we've met some great people we compete against. So don't be intimidated. It's a different world. And like I always like to say, it's the judge on the day. So we've lost more than we've won, but on the day, the judge doesn't know how many times you've lost or how many times you've lost. The judge is there to judge a dog. The judge doesn't know it's your first show, your last show, your hundredth show. It's the judge on the day. And then you have to remember the judge is running the ring. So basically they have two minutes per dog. So be respectful. The trick is, you're probably not going to be the first dog to go. So go to the ring, see the judge, and learn the ring pattern. The judge is going to have the, all the dogs do the same thing. He's got a way or she's got a way. They want to do it. They run the ring. When you get into that ring, they expect you to know the pattern they're going to run. Usually, it's bring them runs around, inspection, and down and back. But just go there and watch that judge and see exactly what they want. So when the judge points and tells you what to do, you can keep the judge on time and happy. Here's just some terms that are bizarre that, you know, you, you can figure it out. And AKC's got some old pamphlets and stuff, but I thought I'd bring them to you anyways. Bait. Bait is called when you're getting the dog to do something for food. Like holding the, you know, treat in front of the dog's nose, getting the dog to stand still. Things like that. If the judge asks to see the bite, that means the teeth. The judge wants to inspect the teeth just to make sure all the teeth are there. It's usually not a big thing. It's usually like about two to four seconds. He looks, all the teeth are there. The bite is good. That's fine. Bait and bite, first two. Inspection. Inspection is when the judge is going to go over your dog. So the judge is going to inspect the structure of your dog. So a dog show is basically, I've been told it's about 60% the dog's structure and about 40% the dog's performance and interaction with your dog. So the judge wants to make sure that your dog is up to the breed standard. Some judges are less detailed, some are really detailed, but they're going to have a full scan of your dog, including the private parts, you know, to make sure your dog is all good. Make sure your dog is ready for this. Judges don't like to get bit, so make sure you're, you know, practice this at home and make sure you're ready for it. Okay, another one is the premium list. You're going to register for a dog show and you're going to see a premium list. A premium list is basically, hey man, this is my show. This is what we're going to do. Here's where we are. Here's the fees. So it's basically like, you know, you're going to see the next Superman movie. It's just a prelim of what's going to happen in the show. Then after registration is closed and everything is done, you're going to get what's called a judging program. And a judging program is basically the premium list 
and then what ring you're going to show in. You know, what breed, what time, what ring, things like that. So that's what you're going to do from there. Another important thing is ring time. Ring time is when your section of dogs is going to show. You know, if you're showing a Burmese mountain dog and there's like 40 of them, you're going to have your own ring time. It's going to be, we start at Saturday at 11 o'clock. But if you're sm showing in a smaller group, it's going to say your ring time is, hey, I'm showing a Yorkshire Terrier, a Rhodesian Ridgeback, a Rough Collie. Your ring time is 11 for all three of those breeds. So you might not be start right on time, but that's when your group is expected to start. Ring times never start early. So if the group before you finishes early, that's just downtime. They will never, never start a ring time early. Your goal is to make sure you're there on the target at the ring time so you don't get passed over because the judge doesn't wait. So I just like some resources to add that really helped us. You can just YouTube these. One is Leading Edge Dog Show Academy. She's really, really great. She's really polite, really slow, really basic. We have a double coated dog, so she's been fantastic. Another good one is Eric Salas Training Channel. He is excellent at teaching about the ring. We've learned a lot from him, a lot from him. Of course, there's just, you know, the gold standard, Cesar Milan, who just knows all about dog psychology. So just catch some of his videos. You know, and AKC has a wonderful channel called AKC TV. You can watch some dog shows. You can watch some just basic stuff. There's good commentary. There's all kinds of stuff there. So I hope this has helped. I hope this has answered some of the questions you're looking for in your first dog, if you're going to do a dog show. Um, what I can say is don't be scared. Just get out there and try it. When you get there, don't be intimidated. Just do your own thing and have some fun. And uh, I hope this has helped. And if you have any questions, please leave comments. We try to reply to everybody as fast as we can. Thanks for watching.